everyone uh, was very worried because we didn't know what to do. Imagine being in your hometown, living in peace, and then one day all that is taken away. That continues to be the reality for millions of Ukrainians, including said he and Olena Hrushetska. They were bombing civils, civil places, civil homes. Uh, a lot of civil people uh, died or ran. We are victims of hate. When Russia's unprovoked war on Ukraine started, both said he and Elena were licking their fingers. They, they knew they had to leave. I started to cry very much. Uh, this crying was not about... I wasn't scared. I was abused. What they do to my land? Elena says they quickly packed as many suitcases as they could and filled them with belongings and clothes. They grabbed their dogs and cats and fled west. I took an album of uh, my roots from uh, 1868 uh, with pictures uh, and uh, I took embroidery uh, skirt of my grandfather and the embroidery of my grandmother's uh, everything that I thought I will never see again if I leave it. A few days after the war began they made a daring two-day bus drive to the Ukrainian Romanian border hearing constant shelling around them. The bus didn't take them all the way to the border so they were forced to walk three hours with all their luggage and limited food and water. They lived in a Romanian refugee camp for a few days before traveling to Budapest and then took a train to Munich, Germany, arriving on March 17th. They spent a month in Germany getting all their documents and biometrics in place for Canada's immigration process. And finally, almost two months after the war began, they arrived in Toronto from Amsterdam on April 14th and settled in Winnipeg on April 16th. Canada uh, gave, gave us more than we even expected, more support, more love, and uh, this is very, uh, uh, we, we are very grateful for this. Olenin said he still have majority of their family in Ukraine. Their hope one day is to go back and live in Kharkiv in peace, but both agree that won't be possible in the near future. For now, Winnipeg is their home, and they are sending a message to all Canadians who continue to live in peace. Don't take things for granted. We had a good life. Ukrainian uh, people are very uh, kind people, actually. We have our roots. We loved everyone. And uh, there was no problem. The only problem was the problem that neighbor hate us. In Winnipeg, Alex Carpa City News.